Hello students, in chapter 7, Transport Lever, our topic is pole tendency. Mainly, in our computer, many processes are running simultaneously. To uniquely identify each process, we need some criteria or need some identification parameter. And here we use that identification parameter is called the port addressing or the service point access. The port addressing or the service point access. To define the process, we are using this identifier called the port number or the port address or the service point access. Service point access. The port number is mainly of 16 bits in our TCP header or in the UDP header segment. Because of this 16 bit total we have 2 key power 16 number port numbers or you call that 65,536 port numbers are possible. And the range of these port numbers are between 0 to 65,535 port number. Mainly these port numbers are ranged from 0 to 65,535. This is done by ICANN. ICANN is an organization. ICANN, ICANN is an organization which is responsible for the registration of these port numbers and take care about the these port number services. So ICANN has divided these port number into three ranges. Into three ranges. One is one first range is here called the well defined. Second is called the registered. And third one is called the dynamic or we also call these as the private. And these are the defined range from 0 to 1023. This is well defined. And from 1024 to 49,151 registered and 49,152 to 65,535. These are called dynamics or called the private port numbers. Let's see this one by one. Well-known port numbers are from 0 to 123 assigned by the mainly please note down these points assigned by the ICANN as well as controlled by the ICANN. Okay. Both things are done by the ICANN. ICANN organization is responsible for the well-defined port numbers from 0 to 1023. They are assigned by the ICANN also and they are also controlled by the ICANN also. If some uh, some port number is get to be replaced with some services, ICANN will take care about that one. Okay. These are registered port numbers. Registered port numbers are ranged from 1024 to 4951. They are not assigned by the ICANN. Not assigned by the ICANN. Uneven can use this one or not controlled by the ICANN. Okay. Uneven can use this one. Uh, port number, you can uh, go there. Uh, uh, to the ICANN organization and register the port number uh, between the 1024 uh, to 49,151. Uh, you go there if you want to register a, a particular port number for your services, go there and register your port number. At that time, ICANN will take care about that port number. ICANN will not get registration of that port number to another organization or for another services. ICANN will take care about the duplication of that port number. Okay. For example, uh, 40,150. This port number is registered by you for some services like uh, for the for some services like you want to uh, provide some multimedia services. I'm taking an example. Let's multimedia services you, uh, your organization want to provide and you want to register this port number. I can will give the registration of this port number to your organization. No one other than you can register this one. Okay, they are using for the universal communication the well-defined port numbers are for the universal communications means uh, the com uh, services which are very very important for our communication between the source and destination or between the two computers here we can register with our services which we want to provide okay and these uh, dynamic port numbers are from 49,152 to 65,000 they are not controlled by the ICANN they are not registered by the ICANN Uneven can use them for the research purpose or for their own local host computers or their remote host computers. They are temporary or private port numbers. You can use them for your own service. You not need to register anything for that. Okay. Means 
at the network layer we have IP address that IP address will only define the computer not the processing running in your computer port number will identify the process is running in your computer okay let's see this parameter with an example or mainly the client processes also have its port number and the services board uh, the server processes also have this port number mainly we have two things here one is at network layer this is your computer this is your computer this computer have three addresses three addresses mainly one is the mac address mac address and second is the ip address and third one is the port address this is the physical address to uniquely identify your computer in the globe and this is the logical address or you can say the network address or you can say the network address of your computer and this is the process address running in your computer process address running in your process running in your computer IP address only select the computer in the network but in the computer we have so many processing running simultaneously port address number is used to uniquely identify that process this is the main difference between these addresses IP address only identify IP address only identify your computer in the network and the port number identify the process running in your computer okay and uh, we combine these two to uniquely identify your connection to the server that is called the socket addressing that is called the socket addressing that's why we are saying port address changing very very important and this is the working of the port address to identify the process running in your computer not your computer identification the working or the programs in execution in your computer that's why we are using port address so this is all about the port address and why we need port addresses even we already have the physical address and the network addresses or the ip address okay thank you